When I was a Muslim, I used to challenge Christians by saying things like, the word Trinity is not found anywhere in the Bible. I'd say things like the doctrine of the Trinity developed over hundreds of years. But the reason why that felt strong to me was because I was not consistent in my criticism. If I applied the same critical thoughts to Tawheed, here's what I would have found. The word Tawheed is not found in the Quran. In fact, it's not found anywhere in the Hadith. The concept of Tawheed was continuing to be developed for hundreds of years after Muhammad. That's why it wasn't found in Hadith. And in fact, Tawheed is complex both philosophically and theologically. And by the way, it was really easy to mess with Christians on stuff because a lot of people hadn't thought about things. All I, if, I, if I just wanted to have a blast, I'd just say the word Trinity. Explain. Most people hadn't thought of it. Say, do you believe in the Trinity? Yes, I do. Well, what is it? God is three in one. Well, he's not a shampoo bottle. What does it mean for God to be three in one? Can you explain that to me? Well, and, and then I'd get kinds of like illustrations. God is like ice and water and vapor. I'm like, no, he's not. God is not like ice and water and vapor. And I said, no, well, he's like an egg. I'm like, this is getting worse. And usually what people would end up with is, well, it's a divine mystery and you have to believe it by faith. And I would say, look, it sounds to me that you're using the word faith as a substitute for ignorance. And I want no part of that faith. That's how I saw Christianity. And each time I had a conversation with Christians, it bolstered my faith as a Muslim. And it made me want to share Islam with people because I saw the Trinity as polytheism and polytheism is one of the worst kinds of sins. Why is uh, Jesus saying that I can of my own self do nothing when, when he's actually God himself? Exactly, great question. The argument here is that the, the, the Jews are saying that you have a demon, that you are, not, uh, you are not working with God, you're working against God. And Jesus' response is here, look, if I can of my own will do nothing, except through the will of the Father. In other words, he doesn't have a separate will from the Father. Insofar as what he wants to see accomplished, what he wants to see done, that's not, he's not standing against his Father's will. So the point he's trying to make is, no, I'm not the devil. I'm not anti-God. I proclaim God. I do his works. I do these healings. I'm not against him. I'm with him. That's the point he's making. And we can read further into that and say, oh, he's not God. But if you do that, you're ignoring the context. You have to let the context speak. And where the context is clearest, that's where exegesis should be the strongest. Thanks. Thank you very much.